Hi guys, welcome to the ride. And in today's video, we're going to solve a problem under engineering mathematics, and that was differential calculus. So, samahan nyo ako mag-solve, and of course, don't forget your calculator. And tara, simulan natin to. Okay, so kualang muna ako ng yellow na tinta. So this is the problem, no? A man contracts to finish a welding job in two weeks for k pesos. Yes, he estimates that if he hires x men, so not x men characters, no. So if he hires x men or number of men, it will take one plus one thousand two hundred over x. So that was a function days to do the job. The owner agrees to give. The owner agrees to give the man 5,000 bonus each day less than the required 14 days for the job. If he pays each worker 600 per day, how many men must he hire to make his profit a maximum? So, ang sabi, meron daw siyang kontrata na total na K pesos. At pag nag-estimate siya at nag-estimate siya ng total number of men, which is X, so it will take... 1 plus 1,200 divided by X days. No? So, the owner agrees to give the man 5,000 bonus each day less than the required 14 days. So, halimbawa, assume natin naka 11 days lang siya. So, the remaining 3 days, ibigay na sa, uh, sa tao or sa contractor yung bonus na 5K per day. Okay? So, if he pays each worker 600 per day, how many men must he hire to make his profit uh, profit a maximum. So, ilan daw tao ang kailangan niyang i-hire para ma-maximize niya yung profit niya. So, tara, simulan natin. No? Isa-isahin natin. So, sabi, the contract price, the contract price is letter K. So, the number of men is of course represented by x yan x so number total number of days given the number the x number of man of course total number of days is 1 plus 1200 divided by x so the owners agree to give the man 5000 bonus so ang bonus daw 5,000 per day. Basta hindi, basta hindi lumagpas ng 14 days. Okay? Or yung hindi umabot ng 14 days. So, ibig sabihin, kunyari, 11 days tong 1, uh, 1 plus 1,200 divided by X. So, that was 14 minus 11. So, 3 days. No? 5,000 per day times 3 days. So, that was 15,000. Kaso, hindi pa natin alam yung total number of days. So, so, it should be 14 days kasi 2 weeks. 14 minus 1 plus 1,200 divided by X. Tama. So, kunyari 11 days to. So, that was 14 minus 11. That was 3 days. Kaso, hindi pa natin alam yung total number of days. So, that was 14 minus 1 plus 1,200 divided by X. So, kailangan, uh, simplify na natin dito para mamaya hindi na. So, that was 5,000 minus, uh, ayan, 14 minus 1. So, that was 13 minus 1,200 over X. Tama. So, that was 5,000 times 13. So, that was 65,000 minus 5,000 times 12,000. So, that was... 6 million. Tama? Okay. So, divided by X. Ayan. So, meron tayong contract price, number of men, the total number of days, and we have the bonus. So, meron tayong natitirang, ayan, 600 per day salary para sa mga tao. So, salary is equal to, kunyari, sa kabuan na, no? So, syempre, salary is equal to rate per day ng tao multiplied by number of days 
syempre, multiply mo ng kung ilang tao. Syempre, ang rate daw ay 600 per day. Okay, 600 per day. Syempre, ang number of days mo ay... Ano ba yung number of days mo? Yun, 1 plus 1, 2 divided by x. Yan. Tapos total number of menopause, letter x. So, dito pa lang simplify na natin. So, 600x multiplied by 1 plus 1,200 divided by x. Okay, so it should be 600x plus uh, 600 times 1, 2. So that was 720,000. Yeah, 720,000. So x divided by x. So yeah, 600x plus 720,000. So para saan natin gagamitin ito? So how many men daw must he hire to make his profit a maximum? So in order for your profit to be maximized, so we all know that profit is income. So basically, pro your profit is equal your is equal to your income minus expenses. Siyempre, bilang contractor, hindi ka lang mag, hindi ka lang tatanggap. Siyempre, maglalabas ka rin ng pera. So in reality, bilang contractor, ilalabas mo diyan yung equipment, yung sahod ng tao. Uh, ano pa ba? Siyempre, mga consumables mo and so on and so forth. So, and I think that income and expenses is, all, is already completed or in details in this problem. So, ano-ano nga ba yung income natin? So, ang income natin, of course, yung contract price, siyempre, K plus, ano pa? Siyempre, may bonus. Siyempre, kita niya yun din yung expenses. So, yun yung papasok sa niya. Basically, yung income yung papasok sa'yo. And your expenses is yung ilalabas mo. So, ang papasok sa'yo is yung income which is designated by K plus bonus. Ano ba yung bonus? So, eto. 65,000 minus 6 million divided by X. So, check ko lang, no? 1, 2 times 5,000. Ayan, 6 million nga. Okay. So, medyo nakakalimut na tayo no, sa mga mental computation. So, we have already our income, which is this. K plus 65,000 minus 6 million divided by X. And our expenses... So, ano yung mga nilabas natin? So, ang expenses lang naman natin sa problem is, of course, yung salary ng tao. No? So, syempre, sinimplify na natin kanina at nag-come up tayo sa 600x plus 720,000. Okay. So, ayan. Kompleto na yung profit natin. So, our profit is equal to income. So that was K plus 65,000 minus 6M. So going ko na lang 6 times 10 to raise to 6. Divide X minus expenses, which is recta ko na, no? 600X minus 720,000. Okay, so I'm going to erase some portions. No? Para hindi tayo mag-collide dito. So, saan ako pwede? So, dito na lang sa salary. no Kaya hindi tayo pwedeng mag-skip kapag nanonood ng video tutorials. Kasi uh, every seconds is important. So, malay mo nagbura yung nag nagpapaliwanag at nag-skip ka agad papuntang dulo para lang makita yung sagot agad. So, Ayun, hindi mo makikita yung process ng pagsusolve. So, we already have a profit here. So, since this is a differential calculus maximum minima problem, in order for us to maximize our profit, of course, the deriv uh, using derivative, equate natin siya sa zero. Okay, so, 
derivative of profit, so let us say profit is designated by letter P. Yan. In terms of X, okay, P prime. So we have, so ang K natin constant, of course, magiging zero. Si 65,000, uh, zero din. No? Para silang mga constant. So constant, constant. So here, so we all know that the derivative, so sandete, ayan. So we all know that the derivative of uh, a divided by x is equal to a x negative two. Tama. Uh, a x. Ah, so it will become negative a x negative two. Yan yung derivative no ng a over x. So that will become negative a over x squared. So in this case. Atong negative 6 times 10 raised to 6 divided x is equal to magiging positive na a, which is 6 times 10 raised to 6 no, divided by x squared. So minus 600x. So derivative ng negative 600x is 600, of course. And of course, 720,000 is constant. So magiging 0 siya. And equal to 0. Okay, so ibig sabihin... Ang x natin is, so ang x squared is, uh, how is this? Yeah, 6 times 10 raised to 6 divided by 600. Of course, our x squared will become 6 million divided by 600. So that was 10,000. And syempre, root, uh, square root both sides. Square root ng 10,000 is 100. Yun. So, ganong kasimple. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan niya ng isang daang tao para ma-maximize niya yung profit niya. So, sabihin, uh, if you're, uh, ano, kung gusto mong kunin yung total number of days, so dito ka, so 1,200, divide mo lang ng isang daan, so that will become 12, no? Plus one, so magiging 13 days. Sabihin 13 days pa lang, tapos na nila yung project, syempre may bonus siya na 5,000 dun sa pinagawa niya. No? Bali, ito yan. So kung ang bonus mo, makikita natin dito, 1,200 divided by 12, uh, divided by 100, and that, was, uh, and that was 12. 13 minus 12, 1, so 5,000. So ang bonus niya ay is 5,000 pesos. Okay, so ang total number of men niya is 100 men. So, ayun lang guys. And that was enough for today. Salamat sa pakikinig at sa pagsama sa pag-solve ng problem na ito. And see you sa mga next videos natin. So, salamat. Bye-bye and God bless you all.